I really like this battery. In fact, I need to find a way to permanently shoehorn it into my existing system. I know that uh, lithium batteries have come down in price quite a lot lately and they do continue to keep coming down, but they are still a fairly major investment for a lot of people. You can still easily spend thousands of dollars on big capacity lithiums, so hunting for the best bang for buck is definitely a good idea. Hey guys, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at one of the best value for money options uh, in lithium batteries that you can get. We're looking at the Li Time 12V 230 amp hour deep cycle lithium battery. Now these use the prismatic lithium iron phosphate cells and it does also have low temperature protection. Not a huge concern here in Queensland, but uh, you definitely don't want to be charging lithium batteries when it's below zero degrees ambient temperature so these have automatic disconnect they will not charge if the temperature falls below zero now of course as well as that low temp cutoff they've also got all the other protection like overcurrent short circuit all that stuff you know to stop them from spontaneously combusting now if you've seen anything about lead time batteries as i have you'll know that they are genuinely uh, good value for money they've got all the features now i know this because another channel i watch uh, will prowse He's a bit of a solar and battery expert and I've seen him, he cuts these batteries or he cuts a lot of batteries open and has a look at what's inside them, what makes them tick. And most of the time the lead time batteries that he cuts open, he's well impressed. High quality cells, a really good BMS, which is uh, definitely one of the most important components of these lithium batteries. You know, they are put together really well and I would have no hesitation buying them uh, on his recommendation alone. This looks like a nice BMS actually. One, two, three. So pretty good. I'm actually impressed. This is fantastic for the money. They make good batteries. No one's been able to complain about these at all. Now these particular lead time batteries also have some of the longest lifespans that I've seen, a uh, number of cycles. And that sort of information should help you decide on what size battery you need. In my case, for example, I had originally two 240 amp hour batteries with a total of 480 amp hours. To test out this lead time battery, I'm going to be replacing both of those with this one 230 amp hour, so it's a little bit less than half the capacity. The thing is, I've never seen my 480 amp hours ever go below 50%, so that means I should be able to make do with the, 200, the single 230 amp hour battery. It may get down close to zero, but it should still meet my needs just fine. But therein lies the difference in lifespan of these batteries. So if I was to discharge that one battery all the way to zero every day and then recharge it back up to 100%, so full depth of discharge cycling every day, that does shorten the life of these lithiums, but this particular one is still rated to 4,000 cycles. So if you work that out, 4,000 cycles divided by 365, it's almost 11 years. If, if you mistrate that battery that badly, discharging it to zero every day, it should still last 11 years. I'm not sure exactly what happens after 4,000 cycles, whether they stop working completely or they start losing charge capacity, but either way, what you can do to extend that, for example, with this lead time battery, if you only discharge it 60%, so take it down to 40%, charge it back up to 100% every day, it's rated to last 15,000 cycles. I think I worked that out to be like over 40 years of cycling these batteries. So that's pretty amazing. Like you are spending dollars on these lithiums, but they, are, you know, they give you a massive service life. So you kind of need to weigh up whether it's worth getting two batteries like doubling up your capacity so you're only taking out half as much from each one each day so that they last longer or just getting the smaller one and draining it down close to zero and then having it last less time and then buying another one. I'm kind of of the opinion of get more, get as much as you can and don't drain them all the way down because as well as having them last longer, you're gonna have more backup capacity for those long rainy weeks when uh, you know you may not be getting much sun into these things and you know you need that extra capacity to get you over the, the cloudy times. Now one of the other biggest factors to consider when you're choosing a lithium battery is the continuous discharge current. Now if you're wanting to run a 3000 watt inverter 
that's a big inverter you're going to be wanting uh, at least a 250 amp continuous discharge if like me you're running a 2000 watt inverter which will run most uh, electrical appliances quite easily then a 200 amp uh, continuous discharge would be pretty much spot on for you so yeah you need to work out your capacity how much you need stored and how much you need to be able to pump out at one time now this particular lead time 230 amp hour battery can handle 200 amps of continuous discharge power but it can also surge to 600 amps for five seconds it can also handle 200 amps of input power if you want to charge it at 200 amps the recommended charge current is 46 amps now this big boy it weighs 20.5 kilos um, and it is ip65 waterproof i don't think you can submerge them but uh, they are splash proof and stuff um, with that strong abs housing they are fairly tough they do of course come with a five-year warranty uh, they have local stock here in australia with free shipping there's a 30 day no hassle return if you're not happy with it and i can also give you guys an extra five percent discount with my code which will be down in the description and that's off the already low prices of these lead time batteries and when i say low prices yeah they are really good value for money guys you can pick up one of these with all the features i've mentioned for under a thousand bucks well under a thousand bucks and you're not just saving money you're getting a really good quality battery as well all right let's get into it we'll get the current batteries out and we'll throw in this uh this lead time and see how it performs see if i can manage for at least a week with half the capacity of what i'm currently using <laughs> I thought it was probably worth mentioning this uh, little reusable plastic sleeve you get with it. It's pretty cool. It comes with a little quick start guide and a decent uh, user manual. It's actually pretty comprehensive. A lot of good info in there. And you get a bit of uh, product propaganda as well as a freaking sticker sheet. <laughs> the stickers are a little bit uh, a little bit cheesy, but better than nothing. Yeah, just for those who aren't across my testing methods here, basically I'm living off grid in a motorhome, I'm basically running everything off solar power. I don't have any connection to grid power. So I run the usual stuff, toaster, microwave, all that kind of thing, as well as charging up all my devices like cameras and whatever. Aside from that, probably one of the biggest power draws is my uh, desktop PC. But uh, one thing that I will also be testing here is the air conditioner. Uh, the aircon is running. It takes a little while to uh, crank up to full power. Uh, as you can see there, the AC is drawing just under 1200 watts. And uh, don't forget, of course, that the, um, the computer is on as well. What I might just do is try the toaster. Here, this thing draws about 800 watts. Put that on as well. That should pretty much max out that inverter. Yeah, we're looking at 2100 watts now. 168 amps coming out. That's nowhere near what the battery can handle, nowhere near its 200 maximum capacity. And uh, it's not warm or anything on the outside, as you would expect. Yeah, everything's, everything's hunky-dory. Anyway, yeah, there you go. AC test passed, 2000 watts or 160 amps, no problem. morning guys don't look at me but uh, yeah after a standard evening's usage of power using the computer a little bit watched a fair bit of cricket on the uh, smart tv lights fans all the usual stuff uh, i've noticed this morning still sitting pretty on uh, 56 percent so no worries at all with a lower capacity i'd probably be more inclined to manage my power use a little bit better but at the end of the day it's perfectly doable probably akin to having a smaller fuel tank on your motorcycle and getting fuel anxiety a bit more often i 
morning of day three, we have managed to get all the way down to 40%. Precious little sunshine yesterday, it's raining and it's pretty much storming all afternoon, so didn't get back anywhere near 100%. I think it was only like 80% we got up to yesterday, so we'll see how we go today. We'll see if we can get the big lead time back up to 100%. Yeah, that is the day in day out weather in uh, Queensland so far this summer, but uh, regardless We have managed to get back up to 100% no worries at all Anyway, there you have it guys. There's really not much else I can tell you about this battery I would definitely definitely not have any hesitations buying one of these especially at the price point Lee time are trying to break into the Australian market obviously I think that uh, that can only be a good thing for the consumer with uh, prices like that and as I said you know cheap doesn't necessarily mean nasty in this instance lead time is definitely a quality product and you know, as I said I would buy definitely would buy for the price of these things for the free shipping discount code in the description can't go wrong guys can't go wrong there are a whole bunch of other capacity batteries there if you are looking for a smaller or even bigger ones thanks for watching guys thanks to lead time for sending me this unit to check out and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.